Hello, and welcome to Plant Crafted Pantry. Today, we are making rice paper dumplings. We'll start with making the filling by crumbling up a block of firm tofu into a pan over medium heat. And then I'm using the back of my spatula to break it up a little more. Then I'm adding one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of crushed ginger, one tablespoon of tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce, and one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. I'll mix that all together and let it start cooking down for a couple of minutes before adding in a 16 ounce bag of coleslaw mix, as well as a few sliced green onions. Mix that all together and let it cook down until all of the liquid evaporates and it starts browning slightly. This will take about 20 to 25 minutes. So this is what it should look like when it's done. And once it's done, you'll remove it from the heat. I moved mine into a storage container and let it cool until you can touch it comfortably before making the dumplings. And here is my setup for wrapping the dumplings. I'm taking a piece of rice paper and soaking it in some hot water in this plate with a lip for a few seconds until it's pliable. I like to always keep a rice paper soaking, so I'll add the next one to the water before moving on. Then I'm adding about a quarter of a cup to, of our filling to the center of the rice paper and folding up the bottom, folding in the sides, and then rolling it up to the top. I'm going to wrap each one twice, so using two sheets of rice paper per roll. And again, wrapping the same way. And I've added all of these to my air fryer that has a piece of parchment paper on the bottom. And we'll just stick those in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. Now to make the dipping sauce, I'm using a quarter of a cup of tamari, a quarter of a cup of maple syrup, a quarter of a cup of rice vinegar, and an eighth of a cup or two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. I'm adding all of those to a bottle, adding the lid and shaking it up. Now about half of our cooking time has elapsed, so I'm flipping over all of the dumplings and then I'll put them back in the air fryer to finish their cook time. And then once they're done, I'll put them on a plate with some chopsticks and a little bowl of the dipping sauce. These are very hot, so you'll wanna let them cool for a few minutes before you bite into them so you don't burn yourself. But otherwise, these are ready to enjoy and they make a delicious lunch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.